Hey guys, this is Scott with the Scott Spot. Um, I'm here to do my first Let's Play. We are playing The Last of Us, as you may or may not have already seen. Um, so here's the title screen. I've always thought it was kind of an odd title screen. It's uh, just got a window here with some curtains. I guess Naughty Dog was proud of their curtain physics. Um, but anyway, this is my first Let's Play, like I already said. And uh, we're going to be playing on Survivor Mode. And this is the first time I've played survivor mode. I beat the game on normal earlier, but I'm not uh, that good at this type of game. I didn't play on hard. Uh, and survivor mode has a lot of uh, unique things about it. The enemies hit harder, you know, your standard, uh, what you would expect. But, um, and you have less health, you can find less pickups. But the main thing that I'm worried about is the lack of listen mode, which basically means that um, if you don't know, listen mode kind of lets you see through walls and see where your enemies are, and I kind of abused that to hell in my first playthrough. Uh, so this could be kind of scary. So without further ado, let's just get started. Create a new save data. And there we go. In The Last of Us, uh, the initial load time is pretty bad. It seems like it takes minutes before it actually loads, but after this initial load screen, it isn't that bad. Um, all those dots in the background are kind of uh, supposed to be the spores that create the infected in this game. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, a little bit about myself. Like I said, my name's Scott. I graduated college in May. Uh, I had a degree in information technology. Currently living in the Knoxville area with a job at an IT consulting company. That's a little bit about me. Um, I love video games. I've been playing since I was three years old. I tend to hover towards Nintendo games and RPGs, but this one just looked uh, so amazingly epic that uh, I just had to give it a try. And uh, I pretty much loved it. There's a few things about it that irk me, and I'll get to those later. But uh, yeah. Uh, one more thing. This is. 100% playthrough. I will be showing you how to get most of the trophies as well as most of the artifacts or all the artifacts, all the fire uh, fly emblems, uh, all the little optional scenes and extra bits of conversation. So uh, you can sort of treat this as both a let's play and a walkthrough. Now, as soon as this loading ends, there's going to be a cutscene, so I'm going to shut up. Of course, this. Uh, it gets to 93% in 5 seconds, and then the last 7% take forever. Tommy, I, Tommy, Tommy, listen to me. He is the contractor... He's the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? Let's, we'll talk about it in the morning. All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Monday at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, God, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? You kept complaining about your broken watch. So I figured, you know. You like it? Honey, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. Not 
need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? All right, and we are now in control. I gotta say that when I first started the game, I was uh, a little surprised to be playing as Sarah. Uh, as we know, Sarah is Joel's daughter, and I'm sure that she's just gonna come out of this situation fine, considering we know what's coming, if you know anything about this game's plot. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'm gonna show off a little bit of all the extra stuff you can find in the game, starting off with this phone. Phone's dead. And one of the things about this game is that the environments are just amazing. Like, if I had to pick the number one most impressive thing about this video game, it's how detailed and how much work Naughty Dog put into the environments. I mean, you can find a few weird things here and there, which I'll point out as I go along. But for the most part, they're awesome. Uh, of course, I've already spent a lot of time looking around at everything, so I won't be doing what I'm doing right now too much. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, uh, see that bottom right photo? It has Joel and Sarah. Uh, that's going to be important later, so remember that. Um, no photos of Sarah's mother or J Joel's wife, whatever you want to call her. So I don't know what happened to her. And this Dawn of the Wolf looks like it's probably the most awesome movie ever. Awesome mirror. I love it when games actually program in functioning mirrors. Of course, we'll find a couple later that don't work, so I don't know how much props I can give Naughty Dog for that. Oh, dang it. I forgot to give this to him. That's cute. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a card. It kind of looks like a... Um, uh, she made it herself out of like a book binding. <laughs> You're not a fossil yet. Happy birthday. Dear Dad, let's see, you're never around, you take the, you don't like the music I'm into, you practically despise the music I like, and yet somehow you still manage to be the best dad every year. How do you do that, smiley face? Happy birthday, Pops. Heart, Sarah. Well, aw, isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Um, we'll find more things like that where you actually have to read it on the, on the screen. I won't read every one out loud, just, just in case that just irked you. Uh, I'll just scroll through it and let you pause the video in the future. Uh, one other thing to point out is, based on these trophies and a couple of the other things you can find, it appears that Sarah plays soccer, so that's kind of cool. And she also appears to be into uh, several types of music. Well, anyway, let's uh, go figure out what's going on with Sarah's uncle, what he's his Dad? proud about. see outside here and what's through here is this like fish artwork to each their own I guess what's on this newspaper admitted spikes at area hospitals 300% increase due to mysterious infection FDA expands lists contaminated crops police crazed woman killed husband three others Ah, oh, well that bodes well. I'm sure that's not gonna mean anything bad for us or anything. That'll be fine. Let's just keep going. Daddy? Where the hell, hell are you, Dad? What's over here? Nothing? Okay. A deer. Right. Maybe this is Dad's room. You in here? Seem to be somehow connected to the nation. Where the heck pandemic. are you? We've received reports that victims afflicted with the infection show signs nearby. of increased aggression and. Move everybody out of here now. There's a gas leak. Hey, move. there seems to be get some commotion coming from. Get the hell out of here! Right. Uh, oh. What was that? That's good. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sure it's yeah. fine. When I first played through this, I was definitely already getting really engrossed into this and freaked out. Is there anything I can get in here? 
I thought there might have been like a journal or something. I guess not though. Where are you, Joel? It's kind of weird that he has a uh, step machine in here. You would think that after seeing Joel that you would think he had it have like a a bench, a weight bench in here rather than a stepper, whatever you call those Dad? things. Okay, Dad, where are you? What is going on? I really think that Sarah's voice actress just did an amazing job with her. Well, I hope that was just a coincidence and never unrelated to everything else going on. Damn, it's so dark in here. Sarah should turn on some lights. This is like the typical Texas home. <laughs> Guitars, pictures of horses and hunting related things. And I don't know if you can really tell, but under there is a PS3. <laughs> so that's kind of a Easter egg. Let's keep exploring. They have a pretty good house. I don't know what Joel does. There's his phone. Why would you leave your cell phone? Eight missed calls. Where the hell are you? Call me on my way. All from Tommy. Tommy needs the coolest jets. Freaking me out a little bit. I'm going to be late tonight. Go ahead and order food. See you in the morning, Dad. Did he post that before he came into the house or after? Where is he? Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, shit. The tire swing's moving. If I was Sarah, I definitely would already have been back up in bed, under the covers. There you are. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors, just, just stand back there. Okay. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Something ain't right with them, I th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? <gasps> Jeez. Jimmy! Dad? Honey, come here. Come here. Jimmy! Jimmy, get away from me! Jimmy, I am warning you! Oh my God. Don't! <laughs> Him. Sarah. Something this morning. Listen to me. There is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tommy, come on. Come on. Okay. Where the hell have you been? You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy shit. You got blood all over you. It ain't mine. Let's just get out of here. This ain't half the people in the city who lost their minds. Can we just please go? Some sort of parasite or something. You gonna tell me what happened? Later. Hey, Sarah. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. Can we hear us on the radio? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. You can't tell I have control of Cell Sarah's, where she's radio. looking. Yeah, we're doing great. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. They say where to go. They said, uh, armies put up roadblocks on the highway. No getting into Travis County. We need to get the hell out. Take 71. 71, that's one. Did they say how many are dead? So we're in Austin. Probably a lot. We found this one family all mangled inside their Tommy's. house. Right. I'm sorry. Way to be sensitive to the situation, Uncle Tommy. Jesus Christ, how did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. At first they were saying it's just the south. Now they're going on about the east coast, the west coast. Holy hell. That's Lewis's farm. I hope that some bitch made it out. I'm sure he did. 
He's fine. No, of course not. How do you know? They said it's just uh, people in the city. We're good. Didn't Jimmy work in the city? That's right, he did. We're fine, trust me. All right. Let's see what they need. What do you think you're doing? Keep driving. I got a kid, Joe. So do we. But we have room. Hey! Keep hey, driving, stop! Tommy. Stop! I gotta say, I wouldn't have helped them either. Someone else will come along. Should have helped him. Don't be naive, Sarah. It kind of looks like we're driving into the city. This is bad. Everyone and their mother had the same damn idea. We could we just backtrack and. Hey, what the fuck, man? Let's go! Oh! oh. Holy shit! Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck shit. What the fuck just happened? Here. Wow. Come on, people, move. What did they run in from? Get us out of here. I'll try it. Oh no. Yeah, let's drive in the direction stop. everybody's I running can't from. Fucking drive through them. Go back up there. They're behind me too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. Great. <laughs> that went well. Everybody's dead. Daddy? Hey. Hey. Get back, man. Get back. Get away from us. Quick time event. Crawl on out of there. Yeah, take that. Dad? Come here, baby. Come here, come, give me your hand. So, uh, what is it? Tommy's kind of a badass. No, it hurts. How bad? We're gonna need to run. Keep us safe. Come on, baby. Hold on tight. Okay, you actually can die in this part if you kind of just stand around and let yourself get caught. But you'd almost have to be fine for that to happen. God, I hope that's not all it takes for a mass gas station explosion. He's looking at me, baby. Get out of my way. You can't really tell who's uh, infected and who isn't. We're gonna get out of this. Just keep following Tommy. Armadillo Theater. Maybe that's a good place to hide. Pink car, maybe. Get back! There's too many of them! I wanted to see what was showing. Okay, let's go. Come on, Tommy. Go! I'm going. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. God damn it. We're almost there. We're almost there, baby. Almost where? Check out through the fence! Yeah, let's not stay in there. Come on! Go! Is this a bar? It's kind of like where I would go to in this situation. Just get as drunk as possible. Get to the highway! Go! You got Sarah! I can outrun him! Uncle Tommy? I will meet you there! Hurry! Daddy, we can't leave him! He's gonna be fine. We're this almost intense. Here. This game has one of the best intros of the video game I've ever seen. That looks promising. If you don't keep running here, they will catch you. You have to keep going. 
It's okay, baby. We're safe. We're safe. Hey, we need help. Stop! Please. It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Listen, buddy, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Oh, no. Sarah. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Baby. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. All right, I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Baby! Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. great intro. I was so emotional. The number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. There are hundreds and hundreds of bodies lining the streets. Panic spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles is now the latest city to be placed under martial law. All residents are required to report to their designated quarantine. Riots have continued for a third consecutive day, and winter rations are at an all-time low. A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Their public charter calls for the return of all branches of government. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six more alleged Fireflies. Remember, when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. Believe in the fireflies. So epic.